Hello and welcome. Today, in this video, I will unbox Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, which is this board, and I will show you what I got inside the box. I bought a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B LCD touch display, 3.5 inch display. I also bought a cover and a lot of other stuff that we will show you in this video. Stay tuned and let's jump in. Hello and welcome to this new lesson in which we will review this new package. Now I got this in the mail today and this is Raspberry Pi. As you can see, this is the package and you can tell from here that this is Raspberry Pi 4 computer model B with 4 GB of RAM. Now let's take this out, place it here. Now, we also have a case here for Raspberry Pi. Here we have the 3.5 inch Raspberry Pi LCD display. And this is a 64 gigabyte SD card. Now, here we have the cooler as you can see and this is a usb reader for the sd card and this is the power adapter for our raspberry pi now let's take a quick look at this bundle of components we will start with the main component here which is raspberry pi now they added extra packaging, as you can see here, and this is for protection. I'll try to slide it out. Here it is. Raspberry Pi 4 computer model B, 4 gigabyte RAM, and these are the main information that you need for this and I will show you this board in a minute. Now here we have the Raspberry Pi cover. I bought this cover to protect the board. As you can see this is the Raspberry Pi case and it has these four screws plus some double face now here we have the charger what i like about this charger it's 5 volt 3 amp charger as you can see and it has an on off button so you don't have to uh, unplug and plug the cord each time you want to turn on and off your raspberry pi we have a built-in button right here as you can see now here we have the 64 gigabyte uh, sd card and i bought it with the package because i already have sd cards but why not getting a new one that is 64 gigabyte if it comes with the package at a very low price now here we have few other components. This is, as you can see, a USB SD card flash. You can place your SD card here and place this inside your computer to uh, upload your operating system for the Raspberry Pi. And here we have some coolers, as you can see, these are for the Raspberry Pi CPU. If you are doing heavy duty work, you might need these to uh, dissipate heat. They are just like CPU cooler that you find that you can find in, on a PC. Now, before looking at the Pi, let's take a quick look at this 3.5 inch Raspberry Pi display. Now, this is a touch display, as you can see, touch yes 
and the number of dots is 320 by 480 and this is the driver number now when I ordered this I asked them to make it let's say to add extra packaging that's why we have a lot of as you can see a lot of uh, packaging now this is the driver installation for Raspberry Pi this, these are instructions you need to download the Raspbian image you need to burn the system image you need to open the terminal and install the driver on the Raspberry Pi and basically this is the driver for the display RPI display now you can open the terminal and run these commands as you can see sudo lcd show and then clone the git library and reboot the Raspberry Pi then it will work now here we have the installation instructions each general purpose input output pin must be aligned one by one as the picture show when connected otherwise the screen will damage and this is a very serious uh, thing as you can see connect the screen to raspberry pi and you can see that they have two red arrows here and we will do this in the installation video now this is the display now this is the lcd display and as you can see it has a nylon cover to protect it from scratches like this and from this side you can see that this is a 3.5 inch raspberry pi display and this is the pin head or the female pins that you need to attach to your raspberry pi now when you flip it like that you can see that we also have a pin here and this pin is for touching the display again this is a touch display and also the touch display now let's move this aside i won't connect it right now we will have a separated video for testing this display now let's move on to the raspberry pi itself now this is the main beast here raspberry pi for computer model b 4 gb of ram unboxing now as you can see we have a mark here open here now let's open from here and as you can see it has two dots this is it this is Raspberry Pi 4 model B now this is our board and as you can see here we can attach our SD card here we have two USB 2 ports here we have two USB 3 ports uh, which have higher speed than these two ports here we have an Ethernet port and on this side we have different connections now these are the four general purpose input output pins now let's take a quick look at what we have here inside the package now as you can see here we have some instructions this is how you must hold the port like that as you can see now this is their website and you can visit their website to see what's happening and they are telling you that you shouldn't place it near the edge of the table to avoid damage and this is the user manual now you can open it up and as you can see it has it's a very large manual in different languages and it has warnings instructions and other stuff now it starts with the english language right here now these are instructions for the safe use of raspberry pi 4 as you can see now it's telling you that uh, any external power supply used with the raspberry pi shall comply with the relevant regulations and standards uh, 5 volt 3 amp this is the minimum rated current 
Now, do not expose this product to water or milk. Okay, you shouldn't like wash it <laughs> in the sink. And some general information. Again, all of these are written just to make sure that you won't damage your board. Let's move this away. Now again, it has a very nice packaging. This is the board. Now, as you can see, this is the display connector. Now, this is the camera connector. Here we have two USB connectors and usually these are HDMI so when it comes to connecting displays you can connect two displays here these are not the mini USB they look very similar to the mini USB ports if I'm not wrong now again the USB type C connector and this connector is used to provide power to the board these are two micro HDMI connectors this is the audio video connector camera display 40 general purpose input output pins two usb 3 two usb 2 and an internet connection uh, port now down here we have the sd card connector and you can place your raspberry pi in this case this case is specific specifically for the raspberry pi 4 model b uh, you can slide it just like that now i will record another video to show you exactly how to install the display and how to hook everything and how to place the sd card how to upload the operating system but this is the raspberry pi that we will use for all of our, our experiments now the display will be placed up here and as you can see here we have engraved for a van for two connectors the display and the camera for the general purpose input output pins the 40 pins right here let me move this away to show you the case okay sorry now this is the upper case and you can they attach it or attach it using these four clips as you can see here here and here and most likely i will attach it in the assembly video because we want to install the display right here in this area but that's it for this lesson these are the components that i have right now and we will use them in our experience Thanks for watching. Again, we have SD card, USB SD card reader. We have the case for Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. We have Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. And we have the LCD display right here. And we have some, the adapter. I forgot the adapter. That's it. This is the whole package that you need to start testing things out. If you have any question, you can ask in the description or in the Q&A section. Uh, if you need this you can find the link to buy it from the video description and or you can contact me on my whatsapp or on the messages um, if you have any question feel free to ask i'm here to help thanks for watching this is ashra from educational engineering team